r slash askredit. How do you stop being a lazy useless piece of shit? Delete Reddit. Seriously, if there was a way to block Reddit, Netflix, and Facebook, on my phone computer and work computer, without blocking my internet which I need for work, it would change my life. I have wasted so much time over the last 8 or 9 years on this fucking site. Been wishing for a way to stop myself since I have no willpower. Right there with you. I had a short paper I had to write last night. I got home around 9 o'clock. Perfect time to do it, right? Nope. Instead I mindlessly browsed Reddit until around 2am, then started the paper and eventually got to bed around 4.30. My age says I should technically be an adult, but I sure don't feel like one when I can't even control my behavior enough to not do stupid things like that. There's something so exhaustively degrading about knowing it's your own fault but legitimately feeling as though you cannot make yourself stop. It's called addiction. Practice being productive every single day. Recognize that motivation is fleeting, but discipline persists. Not enough people get this. Sure, some motivation can give you a good pump to start something, but discipline is what you need for the long road. I go to the gym not because I want to, but because I have to. The best advice OP can get is to stop looking for motivation, learn discipline, day by day. Start by not snoozing the alarm clock. Wake up early, do your bed, and be ready to go. You need the motivation for the long road as well, a purpose to your actions. You go to the gym to be healthy, right? That's your motivation right there. Without this motivation I would question why I'm even going to the gym and eventually stop doing it. Depends on what is causing you to be a lazy useless piece of shit. Sometimes that's caused by an absolute lack of motivation which can in turn be caused by depression, dysthymia or a restrictive environment that won't let you even look for your calling. In this case therapy is the best fix, and medication is a useful tool. Sometimes that happens because your anxiety pushes you towards avoidance through paralyzation and you don't even realize. In that case, therapy and medication. Sometimes you'll like that because, frankly, you really enjoy it. And the real problem is the people around you making you believe it is wrong to live your life that way even if it is functional to you. Maybe you just were never taught how to be proactive and you require to modify your personality. Or maybe you are self-sabotaging due to a system of dysfunctional beliefs. Maybe you are not lazy, but actually tired. Maybe you aren't eating well enough, or not drinking enough water, or you have restless sleep due to stress, anxiety or something else, and you really are tired. Or maybe you are really mentally tired and really do need the rest. Step 1 would be finding out why you are a lazy, useless piece of shit. Figuring this out is hugely important. I was feeling such self-hatred and lethargy. Couldn't find the energy to clean or do anything. It was a handful of things including depression and a bad job situation. Therapy and job change have totally changed things for the better. Stand up, right now. Look down at your hands. Listen to your breath. Feel your heart pumping within you. You're alive, here on one of the few tiny scraps of rock in this vast universe where you're possible where anything like you is possible. For 3 billion years, your ancestors have escaped meteorites and ice ages, volcanoes and floods, droughts and predators and viruses and fire and earthquake. They have seen the moon draw away and the earth spinning slow, the continents cool and the atmosphere fill with water and oxygen. Throughout all those long years, those tiny mindless cells became fish and reptiles and then mammals. They cooperated, competed, killed, lived. They became humans, and through the long march of history they have survived the wars and pogroms, been heroes and villains. Thieves, saints, cannibals. Doctors every strategy and choice and lucky break is in you summarized and concentrated. You are the last link in a chain forged across billions of years. You inherit a crown passed through untold generations of winners. You are impossible. You are a miracle. Look around you. Look at the world we have made, full of knowledge distilled from painstaking examination and wisdom hard won by a billion survivors and veterans and saints. Look at how far we have all come. Look at the people around you, all asleep to the greatness within them. Close your hand, open it. You have so many choices. 
You can do so much. Your time is drawing to an end. Who will tell your story? What will they say? You can pass the torch. You can stand in glory. I know you can. Because every atom within you has been present for countless victories. You wear a shape sculpted through countless trials. Your thoughts echo down the hallways of a mind designed to master the problems of this world. You are the end of a billion journeys. You are the summit of a mount older than the stones. You are the victory. You are the reason. You are, and you shall be. Go now. Go forward, to shape the wonders and tales of the world that will follow you. Add a brick to the monument of civilization. Honor the web of life that has made you. Bring life and love into a world that has offered the same to you. Your time is here. Your victory comes soon. Go. Sounds inspiring but seems like a lot of work. I think I'm gonna order a pizza. Eat with delight, and gratitude. This meal was shaped by the patient hands of the ancients who bent the aurochs to their will, and made of the grasses in the wastes the ripe seed of a new way of existing. In a time of such strife and distrust, thousands of hands have crafted this meal, grown its ingredients and moved them across the world to you, its seeming simplicity the surface of countless hours of work and craft. Reflect now on the quiet genius and duty that has shaped everything that surrounds you, the distillation of human mind and appetite. Marvel, at the wealth and history placed at the service of your every whim. You are the prince of a silent kingdom. You are heir to such riches. Without work or thought, you walk through a hall of miracles. Honor and rejoice in this treasure. Dude, can you narrate my life? You can find this voice within yourself. Great work. You've identified that change is important and necessary. Step 1. Failure is okay. Creating a self-hatred that perpetuates itself because you're saying it will hurt your motivation. There's many people who will put you down. Don't let one of them be you dart. Step 2. Find something really easy and really basic and commit to doing it every day. I tell my psychiatry clients, I'm registered nurse on psychiatry unit, to make your bed every morning. It's easy, and doable. But more importantly, the more you do it the more you subconsciously show yourself that you're not a failure and you can maintain discipline for self-care and even that's a victory in itself it will also help with learning to deal with the distress of failure so you can tell yourself i did x for example making my bed and developed a habit that can keep me well i just have to be consistent with your goal and i can develop new skills and therefore a newfound sense of self-worth and capability step three Find a goal you want to do and develop a mantra that'll keep you going. For myself, I wanted to lose weight, but beyond having the perfect exercise and I had planned the key decider of my goal was beating the mental game to be disciplined. My personal mantra that's helped for the last 6 months is you'll never regret going to the gym and eating well. You'll always regret being lazy and eating like shit. I'm not saying these particular phrases will work to motivate everyone, but they work for me. Then I figured out a basic exercise and I had planned with a friend and 6 months later I'm about 10 kg lighter and more muscle bound. Good intentions are great, but having the plan that keeps your mental game in check is more important to keep disciplined in my opinion. Step 4. You can cut out other less productive shit. Warren Buffet has that rule to cut out that which you don't truly need. This may require soul searching but will ultimately benefit you. I've switched to less video games and more exercise, reading, writing, playing music. This could be something else for you. I'm not putting down video games because they are one of my favorite pastimes. I've just refocused in a way that still keeps me happy. I definitely go back to them once in a while whenever I'm interested. Step 5. Don't rush it. Take your time. Change is a good thing albeit uncomfortable at times. You can do this. Yes you can. Humans are super resilient and capable and so are you. You just have to start telling yourself that. I made this process up. It's not researched. But it's not necessarily wrong I'd say. Everything in life is a habit from what time you get up to what you do so the more you redefine less productive to more productive habits the better you can make yourself. If you have problems with dealing with distress and refocusing and maintaining a positive perspective, hit me up. 
I have free workbooks that can help if you commit to them. Cheers. Keep it up. You can do great things too. Do things badly. Anything worth doing is worth doing badly. Let go of that voice in your head that says that if you start something you need to finish it. I bet it sounds like your mother. Let go of your perfectionism. Wash one dish. Put your dirty clothes in a hamper. Go to the gym and walk on the treadmill for 5 minutes. Open a word document and write one run on sentence of that novel you've been meaning to write for years. Inertia affects motivation the same way it does objects. Once you are up and moving it will be easier. Tomorrow you might be able to wash 2 dishes, walk for 10 minutes, do a load of laundry, write 3 sentences of that novel, but if you can't, don't beat yourself up about it. Let yourself feel good for accomplishing what you could. Set small, achievable, even ridiculous goals and once you get used to reaching those on the regular, up them. Bit by bit, you will see progress. This is my motto for when I'm deep into depression and amp, anxiety. This has pulled my ass out of some deep holes. Thanks for watching everyone. Subscribe if you want to. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video.